two-time defensive player of the year. A man who even gave Jordan offensive troubles. Viewed as the best center the Miami Heat has ever had. Nearly leads in too many categories to count. Only one man could possibly fit this description. Alonzo Mourning. Morning began his career as a member of the Charlotte Hornets when he was drafted second overall in 1992. Morning quickly became a superstar on the team, averaging 21 points and 3 blocks per game. Alonzo Morning will later end up playing for the Miami Heat in 1995. He completely changed the course of the franchise, from only having one winning season in its 7 years of existence to being a regular playoff contender. Morning played 11 seasons with the Heat and averaged 16 points and 2.7 blocks per game. To generate numbers that impressive, Morning had to not only stay in amazing shape, but he had to make the game more personal. Well, first of all, the, the physical God-given abilities first, and then um, taking it personal, you know, stepping out on the court and understanding that the only way for me to be successful uh, and for my team to be successful is for me to stop the guy that's in front of me, all right? So um, I started valuing defense a lot more because of my coaches. My high school coach was a defensive-minded coach. And uh, my college coach, John Thompson, who was known, Hall of Fame coach, who was known for defense. And then coming into the league, and Pat Riley, who was a defensive-minded coach as well, you know, all of that that was instilled in me with the, with, with the God-given abilities and the drive and what have you, and the hunger to want to win just made me a defensive presence and a force in the league. Morning's achievements are extremely impressive, but out of all of them, Morning himself has a clear personal favorite that stands out among the rest. The highlight of my career, this, you know, uh, June 20th, 2006, uh, in, in Dallas, um, you know, coach subs for me, and I come into the game and, you know, 14 minutes of pure hell. That's what it was. You know, I came in and I left it all out on the court, you know, and I walked out of the game with eight points, five or six rebounds and five blocks, which turned the game around, you know. So that helped contribute to this franchise's first world championship. Alonzo Mourning will not be playing professional basketball this season. Unfortunately, Mourning's career was halted due to a rare and potentially fatal kidney disease. The soul of Miami's defense had to step away from the game for a brief period. Well, it was um, a deflating moment in my life because I was living my life like a superhero, like I was invincible. All of a sudden, you know, you know, we all in life, you all are gonna go through something, all right? It's just, it's imminent. And I was at the top of the world. Everything was going well, I'm making millions of dollars, I'm, I'm you know, one of the best players in the world. And all of a sudden, bam, life happens. And I got diagnosed with a kidney disease. It was deflating, you know. But I picked all the pieces up, put them back together again, stood up, you know. So I started the process of healing, you know, finding the right doctors, doing what I had to do to take care of my body, you know. And I was fortunate enough to get a, a, a kidney donor. My second cousin came in, gave me a kidney. So I feel great. I work out four or five times a week. I'm a vegan. All right, I feel good, you know, I take good care of my body. But Morning is not one to quit. In typical Alonzo Morning toughness, he fought his way back into the NBA. He came back to the Heat after receiving a kidney transplant. Morning was an instrumental part in leading the franchise to its first ever title. 
He helped Miami clinch the 2006 championship, defeating the Dallas Mavericks. But before he could do all of that, Morning had to battle serious doubts surrounding his ability to play. Many people doubted that he would ever make a full recovery and make his way back into the league. Did Morning ever think he'd be back in the NBA? Never. Because I had so many people around me that counted me out. And after a while, hearing that negativity, you kind of buy into it like, man, this is going to be hard. But it happened. You know, God had other plans. After his retirement, Morning did a variety of charitable acts. For example, starting the Zoe's Fund for Life to help combat the same kidney disease he experienced, and establishing Morning Charities to help at risk families and children. But what acted as his drive to do all of this? Living, man. I want to live. You know, I got to be here for my kids. I got three beautiful kids, you know. One's in college, you know, and my daughter, she's 18. And then I got a little nine-year-old, so that's what drives me to live, my children. Alonzo Mourning has shown that no matter the obstacles, you can always make a comeback and become a champion. A defensive and offensive juggernaut, what he has given back to the team is invaluable. The legacy of the fiery center from Georgetown who left his mark on the Miami Heat will never be forgotten.